the 2K Sports pregame show. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight, it'll be the Chicago Bulls up against the Hornets in Charlotte. And for Charlotte, this is not how they envision the start of the season. It's still very early, but they have to be worried about how they're matching up against other clubs. The inconsistent effort level. They could really use a win tonight for their confidence. And for the Chicago Bulls, it's a full-on youth movement. Over a year ago, they traded Jimmy Butler, let go of D. Wade. Shaq, it's all about the future now. Yeah, Ernie, it was too much drama beforehand, so they decided to... What's that? Let's blow things up. So now, got some great young players. I agree with that. Makinen could be a good building block, and then you get Levine, you have Dunn. That's a fresh core to build around, guys. Can, can you make a blow-up sound, too? No, uh, not... Wait, wait. Wait. Kaboom! Shaq, show him how. Oh, that's a real sound. I was kind of phonetically. Hear the bricks, you hear the bricks going up? Yeah, <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> kind of like free throw line shooting. Bricks. Oh. Not on you. I'm just saying it. Oh. I'm just saying. Tip off coming up shortly. Let's get to Kevin Harlan for the call. looking to defeat their Eastern Conference rival going into this one. 2K Sports brings you Friday night NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan and beside me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. David Aldridge joins us on the sideline. Some confidence for Charlotte with the win in their last matchup against Chicago. And it really was a difficult game for them in that previous matchup. Fortunately, they were able to just knock down their free throws down the stretch. And it's going to be the Bulls off the tip. We've got a chance here to set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. So the Bulls five right now. Dunn and Levine are the guard set. Jabari Parker is out there with Carter. And it's Lopez in at the center filling out the middle. Now here's Levine. And Levine throws it down. Terrific dribble move by Zach Levine. Blessed with the ability to create space to get off his shot. Zach Levine won back-to-back -back dunk contests in 2015 and 2016. The second one against Eric Gordon, an all-time classic. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And, Greg, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. When your defense translates into offense, it's a beautiful thing. 
Now here's Parker following the miss by Kemba Walker. Carter outside. Levine kicks to Parker. Clock at six. Over Williams. Parker's shot is off. And Dr. J said it best. Zach Levine is among the greatest performers in dunk contest history. Levine doesn't actually dunk a whole lot in regular games. But when he gets out in transition, though, step back. Carter outside. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. And there's the call on Cody Zeller. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Parker finds Lopez. And there's the call on Cody Zeller. That's foul number two for him. Already his second foul here in the first makes it a tough decision whether to leave him in or not. And the Hornets making a change here. Hernan Gomez is checked in. Levine with it. Williams picks him up. Here's Carter. Here's Lopez. Another shot. And it's Carter missing. Just great at getting after it defensively, forcing guys into tough shots. Yeah, to be successful, you've got to protect the paint. He rises to that challenge. Wow, and this is his range. Maybe he was too wide open. Parker against Batum. Knocked loose, and that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. All right, a chance to check out the stats for Nicholas Batum. How he did last season. Averaged about 11 points a game last season. Five assists and four rebounds. And I think he can play even better. I mean, sometimes it's tough to get into a rhythm with limited minutes, but he has got to find a way. That's the thing. You don't get to pick your minutes. You have to make the most of what you get. Hernan Gomez passes to Walker. And stolen by Dunn. Jumps up. And done with the slam. Great steal to get them in transition. Chris Dunn with the anticipation. So disruptive on the defensive end. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. Hernan Gomez kicks to Lamb. Five on the clock. The kick out to Walker. Over Dunn. Charlotte no good that time either. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Yeah, and the defense has been on their back heels with the way they've been running the ball up the floor. Walker finds Hernan Gomez. Looking to end the run, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Chris Dunn picks one up. Kimball Walker continuing the fine tradition of New York point guards. He should not go unmentioned when you talk about the NBA's best ball handlers. Shooting two. That's good from Kemba Walker. And without a doubt, Kemba Walker, one of the league's most entertaining players. And enlisted at 6'1", and you know, that might be a stretch, but he uses it to his advantage, staying low and almost dancing when he's out there attacking defenders. And he makes the first, but misses the second. The Bulls leading by eight. From the top of the key... That doesn't fall either. He's missed his first two shots tonight. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Well, I got to talk to James Borrego a bit a few minutes ago. They won the first game against this team, but he is not taking anything for granted. He wants his players to be even more assertive offensively this time. He said, I think we can dictate things a little more. Maybe force those guys into defensive matchups they dislike. Find points that way. Well, we'll see if they can do that and go up 2-0 tonight. Kevin, back to you. 
Yeah. Hi, David. Thanks. Well, we often hear a coach talk about defense first, but today, uh, today they're concentrating on their offense. And I like the idea that he wants them to get some early momentum. Just never hurts a team to get off to a quick start. And they've got the kind of offense where if they are able to land those early punches, they can get an opponent on the ropes and never let him off. Hornets trail by five. Here's Lamb. Last game, 26 points. And Batum kicks to Hernan Gomez. Over Lopez. No good from Hernan Gomez. For Chicago, they've gone just a shade under 50% from the field. Five of 11. Levine with it. He's coming off a 19-point game against Charlotte. Also, you have to mention the rebounding, another area where he excelled. And here's Walker outside. Carter pulls it in. The Bulls leading by five. Here's Levine. Sweet little floater. Levine's got eight. I like what he's given them tonight. Efficient offense that's helped fuel this lead. And here is Lamb. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. In the early part of the season, Steve, if the chemistry isn't working, what can you do to try to fix that chemistry issue? You know, I, obviously the general manager and the coaches, this is where they have to be communicating amongst one another. And they have to have a great feel because if it's, starting, it's not working, and this is where you have to shoot look two. at maybe benching some guys or possibly trading somebody, but that's where communication comes in. You got to have it from management to coaching to players. Players want to know, don't they? They, they don't want to be left in the dark. At least they want to know the lay of the land for them. Most of the great organizations, the communication is out front, and that's what players love. They love the trust factor from management to coaches to organizations. That one misses. Last season, the Bulls only won 27 games, but they showed a lot of promise. Oyberg finally had a roster that could play up-tempo offense, a free-flowing style. That's how he coached in college. Here's Walker. Chris Dunn making his last shot. And Walker kicks to Hernan Gomez. Over Lopez. Charlotte no good that time either. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. That pushes it to double digits. Ten points for Zach Levine. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. So Charlotte calls timeout. They're first. And guys, Chris Dunn has outstanding physical tools. Long arms, athletic, great upside at the defensive end. And the Bulls making a change here. Portis has checked in. Now here's Walker. He's coming off a 25-point game against Chicago. Stolen by Levine. For the finish. And then Levine with the jam. An explosive high-level athlete. You see why Zach has won multiple dunk contests. And that was an Unleash Chaos replay, courtesy of Under Armour, wreaking havoc at the rim. And Dunn has the size to guard either backcourt spot. I agree. A good rebounder for a guard gets a lot of steals. He plays with a high energy level. Drills the three-pointer. The Bulls leading by nine. Kicks to Parker. Kept alive. Carter left side. Goes back up. And the layup is good. Carter's got five now. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Walker surveying the floor. Now the pass to Lamb. Lock at six. Over in the corner, Williams. From deep, Walker. Jabari Parker comes up with the rebound. It's been a frustrating quarter for him shooting the basketball. He just has to make sure he's taking good shots. Dunn kicks to Carter. 
Passes to Levine. It's rebounded by Charlotte. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Done against Walker. Over, done. Walker's shot is off. And you know, he might want to think about deferring for a while. He's had his chances this quarter, but just not able to convert. How about the quarter he's having? Tremendous execution on the offensive end, helping to further fuel this lead. Here's Walker after the made shot from Zach Levine. And there's the whistle that goes on Chris Dunn. That's foul number two for him. And some changes here for the Hornets. Frank Kaminsky, he's checked in for Hernan Gomez. And Tony Parker is subbed in for Lamb. Denzel Valentine, he's checked in for Chicago. Now here's Williams. A 14-point game for him in the win against Chicago. Here's Kaminsky. Charlotte no good that time either. And here's Dunn. He'll bring it up for Chicago. 13-point lead. Levine. Oh! oh about that athletic. Way yeah. up there. Yeah, I don't know if you can do it any better on both ends than they have tonight. It's early, but they have taken full control of this game, and the fans here, they know it. Kaminsky with the ball, defended by Portis, and it's blocked, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Dunn. Kid Gilchrist is checked in for the Hornets. Monk comes in for Walker. Then for the Bulls, Felicio's checked in for Parker. And Justin Holliday subbed in for Dunn. Here's Parker. The teardrop falls in. Parker's got his first basket of the night. Sneaking inside, converting the high percentage look. Something Parker does well. Here's Levine, and that one goes long. And this is a guy that can get you stops. Aggressive on the defensive end. Also doing a good job of tracking the ball, contesting their mid-range jumper as well. Now here's Valentine. He's coming off a 10-point game against Charlotte. And stolen by Williams. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. He has flat out dominated this quarter, hitting shots at will. Yet they still find themselves behind. Here's Levine in for another field goal. A sublime 9 of 14 on the night. We will talk about feed the hot hand. That's what they're doing this quarter, which is why they've been able to maintain momentum. Parker passes to Kid Gilchrist. Back to Parker. Shot clock at six. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Crafty move by Tony. Has a great feel for how to get his shot off in close quarters. Levine finds Holiday. Down low. Here's Portis, and he lays it straight in. Portis has got his first two points. And, guys, they've come out and established a rhythm. And also their play calling has been on point. Well, the two go hand in hand. Matching your strategy to your personnel is key. Yeah, going to the floater right there. That was pretty. Now, here's Valentine. Guarded closely. Levine against Parker. And Levine, here we go. Holiday, no one around him. Connects from three-point range. Three. Holiday's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Parker kicks to Kaminsky. Pass to Monk. There's 48 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. And yes, it's good. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. Levine against Parker. Now here's Levine. Defense right on him. Portis, the pass to Felicio. Levine inside the three-point line. They get it back. Nineteen seconds left here in the opening quarter. Valentine wide open. He fires. A three-pointer off the mark. 
Monk, no one around him. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. From deep three-point range, and the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Chicago, enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. We've got more in store for you right after this. Bobby Portis, who's known for his work ethic, said he learned a lot from his mother. She gets up at 3, 4 in the morning and gets off at 1, 2 in the evening. You know, she works hard for her four boys. You know, she breads herself off daily. You know, I always try to pride myself in hard work also because how hard she worked for me. And she was a basketball player in her own right. Greg, a scholarship at Jackson State University. Yeah, and gave up basketball when she had Bobby. But she encouraged him to pursue his dream, and she said now she's living her dream through him. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And guys, we've seen a confident-looking Bulls team out there. Aggressive defense in that first period. They forced several miscues. These guys have quick hands. You have to protect the ball around all of them. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. They've got Portis, also Valentine out there, and it's Holiday in at the shooting guard position. Good on the shot. Felicio's got his first points of the night. And you see the pass, Levine improving as a playmaker, learning how to succeed at this level. Well, it feels quite a while ago that the Bulls put up 72 wins in a regular season. Well, the Warriors beat that mark two decades later, and that was a few years ago. But give the Bulls credit. They've been trying to put together a contender. It's just kind of hard to find another Michael Jordan. Here's Portis following the basket by Malik Monk. That one drops for him. 20 points for Zach Levine. Such great balance and rhythm on this shot. Zach Levine making it look easy. To the left wing. Here's Monk. That shot is off. Good D by Holiday. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Felicio kicks to Valentine. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kemba Walker helped lead UConn to a national title, but it took some time to hit his stride at the NBA level. He finally became an all-star, but his team is rebuilding in Charlotte. Mitch Kupchak is the new general manager, and James Borrego is the new head coach. Guys? A terrific player, D.A., for sure. Thanks. And the Hornets with possession here. The Bulls getting the bucket. Another thing that makes Tony a tough cover, you try to keep him from the rim, but the floater is really one of his best shots. Now here's Levine. He's got 22. Right side, Holiday. Fires the three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And just not able to find the target from three-point range here in the second quarter, although he did knock down one in the first. And it's Kid Gilchrist penetrating. With his first shot attempt. His first shot is a miss. 0 for 1 to start the contest. Levine looking around. Kaminsky with the double team. It's stolen by Kaminsky. And it's good on the assist by Parker. Parker's got three assists tonight. The staying power of Tony Parker when it comes to his ability to run an offense. Now here's Levine. And again, Chicago, no good. Parker against Levine. Parker outside. Outside, Kid Gilchrist. Five to shoot. 
Here's Monk. That one wide left. The Bulls leading by 10. Now here's Valentine. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Levine against Parker. Fires at the elbow. Pass to Monk. He kicks to Kaminsky. Six to shoot. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. And you got to appreciate just the presence of mind there. Monk demonstrating solid court awareness by finding the open man. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Steve, we talk a lot about team defense, but who in your mind are some of the best on-ball defenders in the game now? Uh, Kawhi Leonard is fantastic. Avery Bradley, Marcus Smart, uh, Draymond Green does a nice job. Even Klay Thompson, he's uh, asked to guard a whole bunch of different guys. The list goes on and on of guys being able to slide their feet without fouling. It's beautiful to watch. Catching up on the changes for Charlotte. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Kaminsky. Batum comes in for Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Jeremy Lamb's checked in for Monk. And it's Kimba Walker in for Parker. Now here's Walker. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Yeah, they've gotten into a nice flow this quarter. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. And he deserves a lot of credit for what he was able to do at the line last year. 86% from the strike. One shot, gentlemen. That's good from Walker. And here's Dunn. He'll bring it up for Chicago. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. After this game wraps up, they're off to Atlanta where they'll take on the Hawks. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. Parker with no one around, and it's off from three-point range. Batum scanning the floor. Kicks it to Lamb. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Now the pass to Carter. Parker outside. Pulls it up. Gets that one to drop. First one of the game after four straight misses. He's just one of those guys who just knows how to generate offense regardless of the situation. Down against Walker. On the wing, Lamb. Over Valentine. No good from Lamb. The Bulls leading by six. And there's the call on Cody Zeller. That's his third foul of the game. And that's his third foul. The chance you take leaving him in with two. Let's see if they'll sit him now until the half. Here's Parker. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's on Nicholas Batum. And looking at Jabari Parker, six foot eight, about 250 pounds. Greg, what's his best position? You know, I think he has a small forward skill, but with the way the game is changing, you could see him play some power forward as well. And I think his best fit might just be at the four because of the mismatch he can create. Two shots. Last on the first. That free throw, no good. And the second free throw, good. Hornets trail by seven. Out 
right side. Walker passes it to Hernan Gomez. And there's the foul. It'll go on Denzel Valentine. That's his first foul. And here are the Hornets now. On the wing, Lamb. Down to five on the shot clock. Hernan Gomez kicks to Batum. Over Parker. A shot by Batum, no good. And they have built their advantage on the scoreboard here by doing all the little things. When you miss a lay-in, it sort of sucks the energy out of your team. Now Lamb. The kick out to Walker. And stolen by Dunn. And Dunn with the slam. In the open court, that's where Chris Dunn can really let loose, creating havoc for the defense. Hornets trail by nine. Here's Lamb. And stolen by Valentine. One on one here. Pass to Parker. Fourteen feet away. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two for six start. Didn't have any problem knocking that one down. Another defensive lapse leading to two more. Time out, time out. And the Hornets call time here. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. And defensively, you've got to make a greater effort working over the screens. Yeah, he could have made a better choice. He left him an easy one. Let's see how he plays the next screen. Smitty, looking back in your career, what's the most pressure you've felt in a game? You know, I think the most pressure, you, you love to be in those games. I think that's when you strive. I think the most pressure I ever felt, and it wasn't a playoff game, Kevin, or a championship game. It was that very first game as a rookie hmm. because that game you had nothing to compare to, and it was everything you dreamed about, and that first game, you were finally saying, for me, I couldn't get it out of my head. This is my first NBA game. So I think that was the most pressure game I've ever played in. Now here's Parker. His last outing, 16 points for him. Count that bucket. And after a scoreless first quarter, he's finally finding the range here in the second. Walker finds Batum. Second chance effort, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Wendell Carter. The Hornets have gone four of six so far from the line, missing a couple. Shooting two. Uh, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Marvin Williams has checked in for Lamb. No luck that time either. When we look, Steve, at big stats like uh, double-doubles, triple-doubles, are we becoming too enamored with that versus how it might affect winning? No, I think we always going to have those double-doubles and triple-doubles. I, I just think right now when you look at it, so many more possessions in games, that's why we're having guys um, average a triple-double or having more double-doubles. But he also gives those guys credit. The game and those players, they are they're just better right now, and they're more equipped to be versatile. But I do think we still got to keep the emphasis on winning when a guy can get a triple-double and wins. 
versus in losses or double doubles or any kind of stats. I think that should be a category of his own. The beauty of the teardrop, very difficult to really contest. Walker in the post, done covering. Got that one. The Bulls' lead has been cut down now to just 10 points with that basket from Kemba Walker. Dunn passes to Lopez. He kicks to Carter. Out to the wing. Parker inside. He's against Williams. Carter. That shot is off. Now Charlotte takes it the other way. After this one, they're off to Philadelphia to take on the 76ers. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Williams finds Batum. Lock at six. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Batum's got his first two points of the night. Out to the right wing. Parker passes to Lopez. And Parker with the basket on the assist from Lopez. Nine points for Parker. Big difference from the first quarter to the second. His shot looks completely in rhythm now. Walker with it. He's got 10. Six attempts for him at the line. He's made four. Two shots. And the first one drops. Monks checked in for Charlotte. And a change for the Bulls. Justin Holliday's checked in for Denzel Valentine. He's perfect from the line this time. And here's Holiday, who will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Down against Walker. It's stolen by Hernan Gomez. Outside, Walker. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. He's been getting to the line. Now his sixth trip in the game. Kemba Walker. Shooting two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Walker. Some changes for Charlotte. Frank Kaminsky comes in for Hernan Gomez. And it's Kid Gilchrist in for Nicholas Batum. And Chicago also making a switch. Portis is checked in. Kemba Walker hits them both. Another made free throw. He can get on these kinds of rolls. Great focus. Dunn up top. Guarded by Walker. Dunn shots. Good. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. And this is obviously where you'd like to see a two for one. End of quarter. Great time to squeeze out an extra possession. The shot by Monk is no good. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard. That's where the lead has been built. And that's why they are in control. Bangs home the trifecta. He's been locked in all quarter, really finding his rhythm. Walker against Dunn. Now here's Walker. He's covered closely. Lock at six. Let's it go with a three. The shot, no good. You know, he was looking for revenge. 
trying to match shots from distance. And so it's the Chicago Bulls holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They've dictated the pace, pushed the ball at every chance, and it's paying off for them. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Coach, your assessment of how your team played in that first half? Uh, I thought we came out with a very good mentality on the defensive end, uh, getting steals, uh, led to fast break layups. Uh, I thought our pace was good uh, on offense. Uh, if we can keep that up, we'll be in good shape. Coach, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, folks. Good to have you back. Ernie Johnson with Kenny the Jet Smith and the big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Zach Levine was the man in the first. He ended up with 22 points, two steals, and two assists. And uh, Shaq, what did you see out there from the Bulls? Well, I like it, Ernie, because they're just not settling for outside shots. You know, that part of the game is pretty when it's going in. We've seen plenty of teams try that and fail. Got to have a balanced approach. And tonight, they found a ton of success inside. Basketball and championships are won inside out. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Charlotte? Well, obviously, they didn't show up on the glass at all. They were getting outworked, out-hustled, and outplayed. And their competition showed just the opposite. They wanted it more. You can't give up a ton of extra possessions in a game like this and expect to win. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. Welcome back to Charlotte, the Duke Energy Center. The building in the foreground there. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You look at Zach Levine, he's really been playing well. And I love the game plan in that first half. They really value each possession. You know what? It's hard to do. Stay in focus and discipline with your approach. And here are the Hornets now. They trail by 11. Williams is down low with Zeller. Jeremy Lamb out there with Kemba Walker. And it's Batum in at the three, the small forward. So that's the group out there for Charlotte. Lamb dishes to Walker. Six to shoot. Nailed from three-point Lamb. Walker's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for Charlotte. The Bulls leading by eight. And here's Levine. And Kemba Walker is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Lopez, he's checked in for the Bulls. And Chicago has possession for three. Levine, it's rebounded by Charlotte. Williams has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Kevin, the league has unveiled a five-point plan to improve player-referee relations. Things became heated last season with a lot of star players ejected for arguing with officials. The emphasis on respect and clear standards of conduct on both sides can only help. Kevin? Very good point, David. Completely agree. Thanks. A lot of statistics to try to devour. The plus-minus statistics are some that really stand out for fans and players. How useful you think a tool that is? You know, I love it, Kevin, because then you get a chance to see the guys who, you know, the stats we look at is rebounds, points, assists, and blocks, and steals. There are some guys that make an impact without having those numbers. 
and it goes by what the score is. And that plus minus helped those guys who I would say not as skillful as some of the guys as far as putting up stats that way. Mm -hmm. But you can see the team plays better when this guy is on the floor, no matter how many points he scores. Did you pay attention to the plus minus? Kevin, I'm so old, they didn't have plus minus. <laughs> oh, no. I, I didn't mean to embarrass you there, Steve. I am so sorry. <laughs> Two shots. First one falls for him. Good on both. Here's Walker. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. And there's the whistle. That goes on Chris Dunn. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Walker against Dunn. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut down to five on the bucket from Walker. Great play calling. The execution. Three for three to start the half. Dunn kicks to Carter. On the wing, Levine. Covered by Lamb. The 17-footer goes down. 24 points for Zach Levine. That's something Zach works on to round out his game. Consistency from the mid-range. Now, here's Walker. 19 points in the game. Here's Williams. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Lopez has got his sixth rebound on the night. A good look from Parker. That's in, coming off an assist from Dunn. And now a nine-point Bulls lead. Dunn against Walker. Pass to Lamb. Kicks to Batum. And the pass to Walker. Four on the clock. Over Levine. And too long on the shot. And not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Here's Parker. The shot misses. Great D that time from Batum. Hornets trail by nine. Right side, Williams. And Williams throws it down. And they are very comfortable running their offense through Walker. And you can see why. Drops a sick dime right there. That pass was right on the money. Now here's Lopez. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Carter against Williams. He had stolen by Lamb. And slam dunk by Lamb. And, guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. No doubt that could be a gigantic swing in momentum given how that sequence developed. It's deflected, and that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. Charlotte making a switch here. Parker's checked in. Felicio's checked in for the Bulls. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Lamb finds Zeller. Here's Lamb. Just five to shoot. Launches a three. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Dunn looking over the floor. Pass to Felicio. Left side Levine. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. 
Levine's got four points in the quarter. Another one for Zach. He has a scorer's mentality. Very dangerous when he gets into rhythm. Parker passes to Zeller. Right side, Williams. Stolen away. Down against Parker. And Levine throws it down. This is why Levine's a fan favorite. Plays with an exciting, flashy style. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Havoc. Now here's Zeller. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And stolen by Dunn. Here's Levine. Oh, yes. Goodness. What I like is when Chris Dunn keeps his poise, keeps his eyes up, good things happen. And so it's Lamb with it. He brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. 11-point game. Mm, Chris Dunn taking fifth overall back in 2016. It didn't break through in his rookie season with the Wolves. He's getting more opportunity here in Chicago. Charlotte calls timeout. And Greg, you look at Dunn. It can take longer for point guards to develop in the NBA. A great point. It's the most cerebral position in our game. Learning how to run an NBA offense is a challenge. Good news, though, is he's putting in the work necessary to figure it out and progressing nicely. Now here's Levine following the miss by Tony Parker. Pass to Lamb. To the inside. Five on the clock. Burning Gomez kicks to Parker. That three off the mark. The Bulls leading by 11. Out to the right wing. He hits stolen by Lamb. Knocked loose. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Parker. And a look now at the four areas where shots can come from. The paint, mid-range, and shots from deep all broken down for Chicago. And, and when you look at that chart, concentrate for a second on what they're not doing. They're not getting a lot of threes from the corners. That, that's something that has to change. Makes it much easier to defend the team when you know they can't score from the corner. Now here's Levine after Jeremy Lamb's miss. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Zach Levine, a high riser. The two-time dunk contest champ making his return from that ACL surgery. He can be an explosive scorer. Brian Kaminsky, he's checked in for Charlotte. Kid Gilchrist comes in for Nicholas Batum. And the Bulls making a change also. Justin Holliday's checked in for Robin Lopez. One shot. Free throw good, Levine. And from everything you hear, Levine is a big-time gym rat, Greg. Yeah, you know, I think he's very dedicated to reaching his full potential. And with his shooting and athleticism, I think he's a great fit in today's game in terms of offense. Now here's Kaminsky. Five points in the game. He gets it in there. Kaminsky's got his third basket of the night right there. Chicago leading by 12. Bean passes to Felicio. Back to Levine. Parker with the steal. It's Kid Gilchrist on the wing. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Now Lamb. Seven points in the game. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Parker finds Hernan Gomez. Lamb with the ball. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jabari Parker. That's his first foul. Monks checked in for Jeremy Lamb. And a change for the Bulls. Portis is checked in. Get up, get up, 
Kid Gilchrist looking around. Six on the shot clock. Over Valentine. Kid Gilchrist, no luck. Chicago leading by 15. Levine for three. No good, shot missing. Here's Monk. Charlotte again missing. Chicago's gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Outside, Levine. Out to the wing. Three-pointer. And Valentine Sorry, gets it to go on the assist by Levine. Levine's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Charlotte calls timeout. And Bobby Portis out of Arkansas improving his long-range shooting year after year. Yes, he has a nice release, Kevin, on his shot. Not just a finesse big man, though. He battles at either the four or the five spot. Hornets trail by 18. Parker outside. Up top, Hernan Gomez. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And you got to love that three-point stroke of Monk. I mean, he's got such a high arcing shot there. It gives it a good chance to go in from deep. Now here is Holiday. And there's the pass to Felicio. Here's Levine. And Justin Holiday picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Carter, he's checked in for Felicio. And it's Kid Gilchrist with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Down by 15. Parker dishes to Kid Gilchrist. With some arc, and that's two points on the layup. The beauty of the teardrop, very difficult to really contest. Chicago's gone two of five with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. On the wing, Levine. Outside, Portis knocks it loose. Parker with the steal. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Here's Monk, and he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time, the whistle blowing. And Chicago called for the foul. And Monk is an interesting player, a combo guard with fantastic scoring potential, quick on both ends of the floor. And he's got his first free throw of the game. A year ago, he had an 84% success rate on his foul shots, so he was a guy they were always happy to see at the line. Two. And the first one at the line is good. And so he makes both from the line. The Bulls leading by 11. Here's Valentine. He has five. And the jam by Valentine. And, you know, that's an example of how many plays we have in a game for which there's no stat. A monster dunk coming off just a terrific pick play. Greg, you're right. It really did work to perfection. Gave him all the room he needed for the flush. That's what happens when you get an excellent screen like that. He had plenty of space to slash right toward the basket. The shot by Monk is no good. And Chicago shooting a stellar 60% since the halftime break. Parker against Levine. 158 left in the third quarter. Just five to shoot. Knocked loose. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. And checking out some stats for Levine. How he performed last season. He was around 16 points a game, four rebounds, and three assists. So much of what this team does revolves around his offense. He stacks up points. Reason why? Because that's his mindset. He wants to carry the low and clearly is successful at it. Hornets trail by 13. Kid Gilchrist, no luck. Now here's Valentine. D right on him. 
over Monk. The shot by Valentine, no good. And uh, the Hornets shooting around 40% in the third, maybe settling for some less than ideal looks out there. Walker against Levine. Here's Kaminsky. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Nine points for Frank Kaminsky. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Levine kicks to Valentine. Outside Portis. And the officials call him for a three-second three violation. And now a look at Kimball Walker. Some numbers on him. A very nice season for him last year. 16th in scoring, 19th in assists, and he'd make you pay every time he went to the line. Top 20 in free throw percentage. Yeah, and like you said, one of the better scorers in the NBA last season, a tireless worker on the offensive end. He could be even better this season. Now here's Walker. 19 points in the game. Here's Parker, and the lead is down inside single digits. Parker's got 10 points in the game. The quick release to get it off. Parker undeterred with a hand in his face. Back to Levine. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And last season, he was successful. 81% of the time when he went to the line, so he didn't waste a lot of opportunities. One shot. That one misses for Levine. I mean, thinking back to where Levine was drafted, 13th overall, raised some eyebrows, but it was all about upside. Going to the line, Tony Parker. Shooting two. Shooting two, gentlemen. And he makes the first. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Popovich has done a great job with developing Tony Parker's entire game, and you're seeing it right now at the free throw line. Levine with it. From deep. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Right back after this break. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feed. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Chicago leading by nine on the court for the Bulls, getting this fourth quarter started. Dunn and Levine are the guard set. Carter out there with Portis, and it's Holiday in at the small forward. Now here's Portis. Levine can't hit. Parker against Levine. Parker right side at the top of the key, Williams. Here's Kid Gilchrist, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Clearly a foul. At the line for your Hornets, shooting two, Michael Kid Gilchrist. Shooting two, gentlemen. Shooting two, gentlemen. 
Free throw good, Michael Kidd Gilchrist. And Kid Gilchrist drops them both. The Bulls leading by seven. Levine passes to Carter. Back to Levine. A shot that time, not on target. Good D by Parker. He kicks it to Williams. Charlotte moving it around. Here's Kaminsky. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Big shot. As soon as he got an opening, boy, did he let it fly. He doesn't need a second invitation. If the D's going to give him that much room, he'll jump at the chance to take the hero shot. <laughs> wow. And that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg. That is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. Maybe even a question mark. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. And some changes here for the Hornets. Zeller, he's checked in for Kaminsky. And it's Batum in for Kid Gilchrist. Chicago also making some changes. Lopez comes in for Bobby Portis. And Jabari Parker subbed in for Justin Holiday. One shot behind the lanes. And that one falls for Walker. Here's Dunn. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Carter kicks to Lopez. Lobs it up for Levine. And the jam by Levine. Great look there from Robin Lopez. Rare to see a big man with that kind of playmaking ability. Walker against Dunn. And it's Walker penetrating. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Down low, here's Parker and the dunk by Parker. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Walker's shot is off. The Bulls leading by six. Parker outside. He can't get that one. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. It's stolen by Carter. Parker outside. That's good. And it's Levine with the assist. And that's now 21 points for Jabari Parker. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Throws it up high. Shot from 16. A shot by Batum. No good. Chicago's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. And Levine, here we go. Yes, that goes in. He's been unstoppable here late, trying to shut the door and turn the lights out. And Robin Lopez, one of those dirty work type of big men, rebounding, defending, a lot of grit, setting screens. He does it all. Yeah, unselfish. He, he does know his role. It, it just makes things easier for his teammates. Has his quirks, but has proven to be a great teammate. Lamb, he's checked in for the Hornets. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And so it's Lamb with it. He brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. A 12-point game. Inside. The kick out to Walker. Charlotte no good that time either. Lacking confidence right now in his offense. He's been shaky all period. Here's Dunn. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. 
And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Walker against Dunn. And the foul on Wendell Carter. That'll be his second foul of the game. So it's the Hornets now. They trail by 14. Will it go? And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. The Bulls have gone six of nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. Levine kicks to Carter. Lobs it up for Levine. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. The ability to score is there for Zach Levine. He's proven that. Just needs to continue to develop his understanding for the game. Now here's Walker. Passes to Zeller. Now here's Lamb. Guarded by Levine. Walker against Dunn. Three on the clock. Cloak loose and out of bounds is Chicago Games possession. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking coming up for the Charlotte Hornets. On Saturday, they'll face off against Ben Simmons and the Philadelphia 76ers. And then on Tuesday, they'll be facing Hassan Whiteside and the Miami Heat. Outside, Levine. Batum grabs the miss. Batum's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Kicks it to Lamb. Floats one, and it's good on the layup. Really smoking the nets now after a difficult time shooting in the first half. Chicago leading by 12. Pass to Levine. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. He's 6'5", but he has elite athleticism. Levine with the size to compete on the interior. At the line, Zach Levine. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Levine. See, now he's getting defenders back on their heels a little bit. Getting to the foul line here in the second half. And so Levine nails both of them. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. And Lamb kicks to Zeller. He dishes it to Walker. Off target with his three. And you just get the sense the whole period he's been a bit out of sync. Yep, trying to shoot himself back into this. Regain some confidence first. Back to Levine. To the paint, stolen by Walker. Now here's Lamb. Not a lot of room. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Walker's got four assists in the game. And here is Dunn. Here's Parker. Carter outside. Here's Dunn. And the Bulls with another miss. Hornets trail by 12. Batum finds Zeller. And the dunk by Zeller. And way to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. Teardrop shot, and there's the nice layup by Dunn. Dunn's got four points this quarter. One of the stronger point guards we have, Chris Dunn, often does his best work in the paint. Now here's Lamb, guarded by Levine. Lamb, good. 
Oh, great production on the interior right now. Eight straight from inside. Dunn kicks to Carter. To the inside and stolen by Zeller. Here's Batum. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. And so it's Parker with it. He'll bring it up for Chicago. They led by as many as 18 points. Carter for three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And the Bulls lead by 13. Well, something you never like to see, but uh, guys, he definitely looks hurt. And I feel like we see this all too often. Injuries, they, they play such a big part of the game. Well, the explosive moments, the quick change of direction, a lot of stress put on the body. Frank Kaminsky, he's checked in for Charlotte. Now here's Lamb. Basket counts. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. The Bulls leading by 11. Dunn kicks to Carter. Dishes it to Parker. Back to Carter. Six to shoot. And a miss there on the triple. Charlotte has gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Batum, good. In that first half, guys, they didn't shoot nearly as many threes as they have here in the second, trying to use that shot to stay in the game. Now here is Carter. Lopez outside. Here's Dunn. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Hornets trail by eight to the middle. And Jeremy Lamb, the bucket on the assist from Batum. 17 points for Lamb. And the D not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. Levine passes to Lopez. Back to Levine. And the jam by Levine. Up in the rafters, Zach Levine climbs the ladder as quickly as anyone. Walker against Dunn. Walker in the post. Pass to Lamb. It's a nice pass in here by Charlotte. Shots good by Walker. And defensively, neither side able to get many stops. Well, this is when you need them. Late in the game. It's not all about scoring. Now, here's Dunn. He's off on that one. Walker with some nice D. Charlotte trailing. Outside, Batum. Walker against Dunn. Plays it up and banks it in. Walker's got 12 points in just the second half. A, a good score inside, and, and the defense really offering very little resistance. I'm so surprised in a game this close. I know it's easy to criticize, but the defense has to be better in the fourth. Now here is Carter over Kaminsky. Zeller grabs the board. Zeller's got eight rebounds in this game. Walker against Dunn. And Walker kicks to Lamb. Over in the corner, Zeller. And here's Walker outside. Levine with the rebound. Levine's got rebound number five here tonight. One twenty-two left in the fourth. The pass to Dunn. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Extremely explosive off the dribble. Once Dunn gets the angle, it's over. Shoot two. the first one and that puts them up by five. 
To me, Chris Dunn has all the tools to be really good, has to cut down on the turnovers, and has to keep working on that jump shot. Tough break as his second attempt at the line. No good. And a wide open look for Lamb. Nailed from three-point Lamb. Lamb's got 18 points just in the second half. And here's Levine who brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. He kicks to Dunn. 54 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. free throw is good and that makes it a three-point lead Charlotte making a switch here Hernan Gomez is checked in so he gets them both and it's a four-point ball game and he steps up and knocks them down making it a two-possession game Charlotte calls timeout. They're down by four. 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Zach Levine. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hi, guys. I was able to catch the message James Borrego gave to his team. He told him, look, guys, we're running out of time. We're going to make a move. It's got to be now. Are you guys ready to make a move? They all nodded, and he said, then go take it. Kevin? What more can you ask for? Phenomenal here in the clutch. This is what fans tune in to see. And they had a foul to give, but you want to use it on the ground. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good on the first, and that will put them up by two. both free throws here so now it's a three-point game 36 seconds left to play in the final quarter Walker against Dunn Walker's shot is off I like the aggressive move on the layup attempt but the defender he just stayed right with him now here's Levine covered by Lamb Al Levine, just five to shoot. Oh, wow, unable to get a shot off in time, and they turn it over. A very unfortunate time there to pick up a shot clock violation. Charlotte calls timeout. They're behind by three. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And they need a three to tie. But, but look, they've got enough time here to find a good look. They can run a play off the inbounds, make sure they get it in the hands of their best shooter. There's Walker with the three. And so the big win by Chicago in a tight game. 
this win such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Jabari, you guys really got after it tonight. Is this the kind of mentality you want to impose on the other team? Uh, just as long as I stay aggressive. You know, don't rush the game. Don't get outside of my game. But uh, continue to play hard. Well, you got your teammates looking for you tonight, Jabari. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.